Hello everyone, welcome to USTM Podcast. Today I am your host Dr. Murchana Khushru. We have a special episode today dedicated to Department of Physics. Today in this episode we will explore the role of physics in advancing knowledge. We are happy to have with us Dr. Neetu Borgohain. Welcome to the show sir. I'm really excited to have a discussion with you on the topic. Uh, can you please give a, uh, an overview of the Department of Physics at USTM? Thank you, Murchana. Uh, if I uh, say from the very beginning that uh, our, star, our department has started from 2016, <coughs> which are two courses, MSc and BSc. And uh, these courses are uh, with, uh, added uh, with uh, the PhD courses later on. And, uh, uh, we have uh, nine faculty members as of now and uh, all of the, these faculty members having their PhDs from different institutes of eminence as well as uh, for many of them are uh, CSIR net qualified also. Our programs are very multidisciplinary in, in nature as uh, we have given the um, the, the po policy which is uh, in line with the national education policy under which we have uh, adopted the, these new courses, new programs. Under these policies, uh, they are, uh, the students can adopt uh, their, uh, their, their subjects of their choice and uh, this uh, maximum of the courses are skill based as well as uh, these are entrepreneurial aspects are there and uh, also we are focusing on industry as well as academia collaboration such that the students can immediately uh, grab uh, the uh, immediately absorb in different institutes or different um, industry uh, we are also having different facilities uh, like our smart classrooms uh, which are ICT enabled as well as uh, different TLM enabled courses TLM enabled uh, um, um, classrooms which uh, uh, we can have uh, different teaching and learning materials that uh, help us to give the best of the uh, classes to the students. Along with that we are having uh, uh, good practices like our classes are from 9 to 4 and uh, throughout uh, through thorough class are, uh, uh, are conducted. Along with these classes yoga, career counseling, net coaching, uh, yeah, net coaching is important thing. Uh, we are providing this net coaching uh, along with uh, this IIT exam coaching free of cost after the class uh, classes are over, after the regular classes. And uh, students are, uh, are actively participating in these uh, classes with uh, full of enthusiasm because uh, these are the key to different research institutes. So, uh, this is uh, we are having a good, very good output of these uh, of these classes, and uh, I can say that around uh, uh, 15 to 20 students, uh, 21 students uh, for, to be precise, are now uh, doing diff uh, different uh, research in different institutes of eminence. Uh, I can say uh, I can take the name of IISC Bangalore. Our students are uh, pursuing their um, his. Uh, um, integrated PhD, uh, PhD program in IISC Bangalore and uh, many students are there in ISERs and uh, IITs as well as uh, other institute of eminence uh, for their PhD degree. One of our students is also there in uh, um, abroad in Japan which is pursuing his postdoc and uh, uh, he is uh, working in the optics, uh, quantum optics field and uh, is uh, doing good job and uh, he probably be grabbing more students, new students, his juniors into his field uh, later on. Thank you sir for your insights on the department. Um, now coming to the next question, how do you see the role of physics evolving at USTM? Yes, uh, this is a very nice question Mursana. Uh, as of now we are seeing that the physics, uh, physics is a very excellent subject of study. Uh, the students are also to be very decent and organized as well as very very dedicated if he is going to in this field. Uh, we are uh, developing a new teaching learning uh, methodology with uh, the participatory education uh, that uh, we uh, not only give the monotonous classes rather we give the uh, 
uh, a new way of teaching uh, which is the participatory kind of uh, thing, uh, part participatory kind of uh, studies such that we can get all intention of all the students. So this way our first aim to motivate the student with their uh, dedication towards this subject. Uh, for that we are keeping the classes in such a way that uh, they can participate along with uh, the regular in, the, in this regular classes and uh, they give uh, we are giving so a lot of uh, opportunities like uh, we keep on uh, conducting quiz we keep on having discussion over it and debate etc uh, with some topics that we are uh, giving to the students so students are basically they uh, discuss among themselves and uh, give out the result along with that uh, we are also developing new hubs new uh, um, centers etc like as i said as about esco the students willingly uh, reach there in the in that observatory and keeps on uh, working there and seeing the stars seeing the galaxies etc in the nano lab itself uh, uh, the, the, the students along with the PhD scholars, uh, they are developing new materials, smart materials, okay, and then, uh, those are in nano range and uh, uh, they are trying to change their properties, okay, such that uh, the new, some new, new uh, thing can be coming out from this uh, research and development. Along with that, in the theoretical areas also, a lot of people are, our faculty members are working, like in condensed matter physics, like in the quantum optics, general theory of relativity as well as plasma physics. The theoretical research based on the numerical simulations, they are also developing new uh, form of physics and uh, they are also publishing their papers in different reputed uh, national or international journals. In addition to that, uh, our students are also visiting our nearby areas such that uh, uh, they can observe what are the leggings uh, in the uh, nearby areas, nearby localities and such that we can have a holistic development not only into the uh, campus but also the nearby societies. So uh, in that prospect, our students are also go for uh, different community engagement uh, practices and uh, they are doing a lot of change in these uh, communities. Thank you so much Dr. Neetu for your valuable insights on the role of physics um, at USTM. Uh, I am sure our listeners will be highly benefited by this session and would be motivated to pursue physics at USTM. And uh, thank you very much our listeners. Stay tuned for our next episode.